Okay, so now let's look at some of the text tools that Vinyl Master Letter has, which Vinyl Master Cut certainly doesn't. So let's zoom into some of these things and take a look. Here we've got some kerning, which is the spacing between letters. You're in a text mode here and click on one of these and click on the text menu. You can see here we have a lot more tools and features in Vinyl Master Letter that aren't in Vinyl Master Cut. One of those is kerning and tracking. So if I click say on Ultra Loose here, you can see it adjusts the kerning between the characters here. We'll scroll down. In Vinyl Mass Letter we get text on a path here and I can adjust the offset. I can push it out or I can bring it in like so. Uh, I can zoom out a little bit more and let's say I select that text like this. I can change the font to something else like that. Um, and then I can just click off it and go back. I can then move the position of the text on path like a roller coaster ride as you can see there. That's a very powerful tool, text on path. Uh, on top of that, you've got like text on arc. It's a very popular tool. And I can click in here and again, I can uh, select the text like so, and I can change the font uh, to something else. Um, I can go above the arc. I can go below the arc, as you can see here. Left click on this and I can adjust it. So this is another very powerful tool. Come across here, this is another variation of this where I can adjust that offset like you can see there. The program also comes with spell checking, so when I click on something that's misspelt, you can see it gives you that underline there, and I can actually uh, change the spelling. Um, and we've got things like text on path here and vertical text. And again, if I go to the front node there, I can then roll it around like that. So these are very powerful tools for designing artwork uh, using text. You can also adjust the pen style here. So I just click on the design center, and we'll go down to pen tools. And you can see here, I'll just zoom back into that. And you can see here, we have all these pen styles. And if I go into text mode here and select one of these, you can see it brings up the color. I can easily change that to something else. And I can change the type of pen, so something like that. Adjust its thickness, etc., etc. Uh, I can change whether it's smooth, clipped, round, or mitered. And you can see there's these different styles here. You can even flatten the pen and cut this out if you want to. So not only is it great for printing and design, it's also cuttable if you want it to be. Okay, so let's go up to the Shapes tools. Now, Vinyl Master Letter comes with a couple of additional power shapes, an arrow and a star. Let's zoom into that and show you what I mean by that. Power shapes come with these special nodes, as you can see. And I can adjust those, which adjust the shape of the power shape, in this case the arrow. Same with the star, I can move this in and out like that. And in the second row of tools here, you can see I can adjust things like the number of points and I can adjust the sharpness and I can even round out the arrow like so. So I have lots of uh, powerful tools um, with these adjustable nodes. The other thing too that Vinyl Master Letter has is step and repeat. So if I click on this arrow here, let's say I wanted to repeat this arrow like cut lots and lots of these. What I can do is come up to the design center and as you can see there's lots of tools and features in here and one of these is step and repeat an array tool. So if I click on that I can actually tile array this arrow and I do that by clicking on these tools here and you can see that it gives me a preview and I can adjust the offset for example and once I'm happy with what I've got I can click apply and you can see I've created a whole bunch of these arrows which I can then send off to be cut. Just undo that. I can also do step and repeat and circle array. Now circle array, I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to make like a really symmetrical type piece of artwork you can use this tool here and you can see that by clicking on more and more of these in the preview I can create some pretty uh, cool effects here. I can adjust things like the radius and I can change the degrees and you get these sorts of effects like this and you can imagine the sorts of things you can create with your artwork. So these are some of the really cool effects that you can create uh, using Vinyl Master Letter. Now talking about effects I'll just open this job here and you can see we have these multi-outlines. If I click one of these and go to the Effects Flyout tool, you can see that Vinyl Master Letter has lots of effects tools, many more than what Vinyl Master Cut has got. And if I click on multi-outline to select the effect, you can see I can adjust it like so, all the different tools and features I've got here, change colors and do all sorts of things. Um, and I can move on to page two and you can see you've got inlines and you can even adjust the way the outline's drawn uh, on the edges there as you can see on the corners. Uh, same with the inlines. So you've got smooth, round, sharp and mitre. 
And I'll show you some other effects like the shadow effects. I'll just close out of this and might put the design center away. And let's have a look here. So I'll just scroll down to block shadows. And you can see you can create these block shadow effects. So if I click on this, you'll see the block shadow tool there. And now I can adjust the position. So even though this job was designed some time ago, I can come back and continuously um, alter or modify the effect itself. And that's a great thing with uh, Vinyl Master Effects. They're interactive and they're persistent, so they stay even after you save the job. So let's have a look at the drop shadow ones here. So again, we've got these drop shadows, and when I click on that, we get the drop shadow tool. And again, we can adjust. Now, if, actually, I'll just delete that out, just so I click delete, and I'll show you how easy it is to apply that effect. I simply come down here to drop shadow, and there it is. It's ready to go. And you can see the little offset here. I can change this. I can make it bigger. I can make it less. And if I go into wireframe mode, you can see it's completely cuttable. So it automatically removes all the overlapping lines for me. So there's some really cool tools and features. Um, I'll go on and show you a couple more here. We'll uh, select stripes, I'll come down here to stripes, and you can see this effect here. And I'll just zoom in and go to wireframe mode again. And as you can see, it automatically removes all the overlapping lines ready to go. So another great set of tools and features there. But it doesn't stop there. Vinyl Master Letter also includes uh, several modules. Now I'll just create a new page and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to turn the page off here and I'm going to drag and drop in an image and I'll show you this tool. Zoom out. In Vinyl Master Letter and above, you can actually take images like this and turn them into cuttable vectors. So if I select that and go to Image Cut, the image loads in with what it's going to look like once it's uh, once you've set all your settings here and I mean I can adjust these etc. Once I'm happy with those I click accept and if I view that from a distance I've actually taken a photograph and turned it into um, a vinyl sign and it's very effective from a distance it looks really like a picture so that's another great tool in Vinyl Master Letter and all the levels above it. Uh, another example is engraving so if I click on this here and I scroll down to the engraving example and load that and you can see here how a toolpath has been created that's really easy to do we just come here and type in say the same text like so uh, in this particular case it's a bold version a little bit larger and to do a engraving path like that all we do is we click on this plugin and go to engraving module and the artwork loads into our engraving module and we can cut the perimeter uh, we'd probably make this tool path or tool diameter a little bit uh, bigger and we might want to do it in say diagonal up for example and you can see it's creating the tool path. So I click accept and if I move that off and zoom in you can see that the program's automatically created the tool path for our engraving machine or our router and we can export that as a DXF file. Okay so I'll show you another example of a, a module. Let's talk about the multi-language editor. So if I click on that I'll place some Hindi on my keyboard, so I'll just paste that in. And I'm going to, actually I won't weld, I'll click Accept. I'll just move over here a little bit and paste that. And if I go into a wireframe mode, you'll see that there's overlapping characters here. So I'll just move that out the way. And we'll turn that off and we'll go back to the multi-language editor. And I click Weld here and click Accept, put that down. You'll see here, what it's done is it's actually welded out all those overlapping lines for me. So using this module, I can easily type in Hindi, Arabic, Chinese, Korean, in whatever font I want, which I've got my drop-down list here, uh, and uh, bring those into the program. That's a great way of bringing in all different languages. So OK, I'll show you one more thing with Vinyl Master Letter. Let's create a new page, I think. And that is all the extras you get with the program. So if I come here and click on like General Clip Art, you can see here we get all this clip art with the program, like so. And if I double click on something, I can just paste it in like that. If I go to wireframe mode, you can see you can cut that out straight away. Other things include the corporate logos here. So we can just click on any of these, double click on this. And again, wireframe mode, it's ready to cut out. Uh, and road and related signs. So you might go to say pedestrian signs, for example. Let's change the view. And we've got all these as well. And of course, we shouldn't forget that Vinyl Master Letter also includes more than 5,000 fonts. So, you know, there's a lot going on with this product. So, as you can see, 
Vinyl Master Letter comes with many more tools and features when compared to Vinyl Master Cut. And I haven't shown you all of them either. So if you want to have greater control over your artwork and its design and layout, all the rest of it, you know, please consider upgrading to Vinyl Master Letter.